The first important function in God of War Ragnarok is automatic brightness adjustment. Whenever we enter a dark or bright location, the game will change the exposure after a little while. Let's say I want to enter this area and it's dark. If I stay here, it gets brighter. And if I enter this area that looks so bright, as time passes, it gets darker and will adjust the exposure on its own. This ABA automatic brightness adjustment works on both HDR and SDR. Why would it matter? You usually don't lose any details in shadows or highlights with the default settings and that's why you should not be worried about God of War Ragnarok settings. PS5 and PS4 HDR settings for God of War Ragnarok. This game uses built-in HDR settings from your PlayStation. What we need to do at first is to make sure to calibrate HDR settings on your console correctly. For that, go to your console settings on PS5 or PS4 and adjust HDR settings this way. In steps 1 of 3 and 2 of 3, go higher until you blend the logo into the background. No matter which TV model you are using, this is how to calibrate it. For step 3 of 3, go darker until the logo is barely visible and then one one step even lower to blend it in the background. Game HDR settings. We have two options in the game settings, HDR brightness and UI brightness. UI is the brightness of menus and anything else related to the user interface, like the maps, weapons and stuff on your screen. If you play on an OLED, it's better to make them darker, so they will not cause burning issues with your OLED TV. You can also set a touchpad shortcut for hiding HUD stuff with your controller, so they will be less likely to be on a screen all the time. HDR brightness. As I showed you, the game automatically adjusts brightness depending on the location. And not just that, but in my test, I found that if you even make HDR brightness 100%, it wouldn't ruin the highlights much, which means it primarily affects dark and mid tones but make sure you never go under 50 either on sdr or hdr because that causes low peak brightness and leads to washed out highlights but going over 50 to 100 percent doesn't break the picture in hdr the console combines the different levels of exposure let's say hdr 10 for example combines 10 levels of exposure to ensure every object has the best brightness and look in god of war ragnarok it will also adjust just the exposure automatically and the HDR brightness slider is more likely to affect the middle parts of the brightness, not the very dark and not the very bright spots. That's why even with 100% brightness the sky looks fine and even with 0% brightness dark areas look almost fine. The only thing I recommend is not going under 50% and probably not going over 80%. It will keep you in a reasonable range. The monitor I'm testing now has an HDR brightness of 515 nits and with 80% brightness on the monitor, I found 75% HDR brightness a good spot. On my Samsung TV that has HDR 600 nits, I found 70 a good spot. For LG OLED TVs like CX, C1, C2, here's my recommended settings. LG C1 with HDR tone mapping on at 70%. LG C2 with HDR tone mapping on at at 65%. LG CX with HDR tone mapping on at 75%. By the way, as I did test this game on my friend's LG C2 TV, I wouldn't say I liked HEIG for this game and no other game. If you play in a dark room, maybe HEIG is a better choice than tone mapping. I prefer not to use HEIG as these TVs can't get bright enough. Other TVs HDR brightness. If you are using any other kind of TV or monitor, you can go to ratings.com, search for your TV or or monitor model for example g2n7q is my monitor and scroll down in the website to find the hdr section here take a look at hdr real scene or 50 percent window size brightness for me it's around 480 to 550 find yours and use these numbers for in-game hdr brightness settings from 200 to 300 hdr brightness at 80 percent from 300 to 400 hdr brightness at 78 percent from 400 to 500 HDR brightness at 75%.
from 500 to 600 HDR brightness at 70%, from 600 to 700 HDR brightness at 65%. Higher than 700 nits HDR brightness from 50 to 70% depending on your condition. SDR brightness settings. For SDR, 50 is a good spot, but even going higher until 75 will not crash the details. I keep it on 50% in my IPS monitor but don't go under 50%. And about SDR quality versus HDR, I would say it's very close in terms of contrast and the level of detail. If your TV looks brighter and sharper or better in SDR, feel free to use SDR. That might be better than a dark HDR for you. PS5's contrast calibration. Yes, there is a secret way to adjust the correct contrast for your PS5 for HDR and SDR on any TV or monitor to ensure you are not losing any details by default. We set it up with some sample pictures and TV settings and if you are wondering how to do it, you can check the video from the card above or the link below. There is a fast tutorial for this option. Samsung Contrast Enhancer. If you are using a Samsung TV, you may find a setting called Contrast Enhancer and fine-tuning gamma settings such as SD2084. The Contrast Enhancer on HDR works similarly to LG Tone Mapping for me. When it's off, it's like having HGIG enabled. When you put it on high, you get a much better picture and better contrast overall. If you find it helpful to see better, you can use it. And about Gamma ST2084 for HDR, I recommend going to a step 2, as it increases the maximum output brightness. But don't go to level 3 because that only makes dark areas brighter, and we don't want that for this game. Gigabyte Monitor Gamma Level I don't know if all Gigabyte monitors have this function, or if it works the same for all of them, but for my specific model G27Q use Gamma Level 3 for SDR mode and Gamma Off for HDR. Because this monitor has a very high contrast in HDR mode, it's better to turn the Gamma off. If you want the best settings for God of War Ragnarok on PS5 like audio, graphics mode and more, check this video where I showed you the best recommended settings for PS5. I'll catch you there.